How's it going guys? I hope you guys are having a great day as today we're going to be forecasting when you should expect your first snowfall in each area of the United States. So first, let's start in the Rocky Mountain ranges where you should expect your first snowfall right around the sept this month, the September time frame. In fact, in the in some portions of the higher elevations of Colorado, you've already experienced your first measurable snowfall in um, certain portions and I do eventually expect that to spread into Wyoming, the uh, higher elevations of montana as well thanks to the fact that we're going to be in a weak la nina which does promote colder and snowier than average conditions so we should see snowfall a little bit earlier for you guys right over the rocky mountain re um, region overall and then if we were to shift our focus a little bit further eastward into the northern midwest i do expect that um your first snowfall to be earlier as well for places like north dakota south dakota as well as northern minnesota you should see your first snowfall in october October as opposed to early November which is the average for you guys of course thanks to the fact that we're going to be in a week La Nina and I'm going to show you guys the temperature anomaly as well as the snowfall anomaly map in just a second when it comes to week La Ninas but typically during um, that year we see much more snowfall in the northern a portion of the midwest and then just south of that you should expect your first snowfall in early november this includes cities like minneapolis which is earlier than when you typically um, receive your first snowfall this includes milwaukee as well and a large portion of the interior northeast as well which includes maine um portions of new hampshire and vermont and in fact in the extreme northern portions of the northeast i expect your first snowfall to happen in october thanks to the fact that of course during during week La Ninas, it's a lot colder than normal in that specific area of the Northeast. But in these areas, you should expect it in early November. This includes Buffalo as well, Albany, New York. You should expect it happening, um, your first snowfall happening in um, early November. So definitely prepare for that. And then for the Pacific Northwest, we see that in the higher elevations, you should expect your first snowfall right around the early portion of November, as this includes a larger portion of Oregon as well as Washington state thanks to the fact that it's going to be a colder and snowier winter so the chance that you're going to receive your first snowfall a little bit earlier does increase quite dramatically um for this year and then um, just south of that, this is where you should expect your first snowfall in late November. Now, in portions of the Northeast, as well as the Great Lakes region, this is a little bit further southward and a little bit more expansive compared to what you typically see um, um, on average when it comes to when you see your first snowfall. And like I said, this is due to the fact that it's going to be colder and snowier than normal, most likely, for the Northeast. So we should see those colder temperatures um, move into cities like Boston, New York City, Chicago, um, Gary, Indiana, as well as um, Cleveland. You should expect your um, first snowfall a little bit earlier this year, thanks to the fact that it's going to be colder. And then just south of that, you should expect your first snowfall in early December. This includes cities like Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., St. Louis, as well as a large portion of Kansas. This includes Al the Albuquerque area as well, as well as the northern portions of Arizona, the southern portions of Utah, and then the central portion of Nevada, as this is around average for most of these areas when you receive your first snowfall as the further southward you move the less likely it's going to be colder and snowier than normal especially during the early part of the winter time frame so now we're approaching the area where the your first snowfall should be around what you should expect on any given winter on any given average winter i should say so this won't be anything out of the ordinary for cities like philadelphia washington dc as well as st louis just south of that you should expect your first snowfall in late december as this is average for most of these areas under that specific um under that specific um time period which includes cities like richmond virginia virginia beach as well the delmar peninsula and this includes kentucky as well and even oklahoma city you could maybe see your first snowfall in late december and if not then it's most likely going to happen anywhere between january and february and then as you can see for this area i did put the area where you would receive your first snowfall in january and february a little bit further northward this winter for portions of the southeast because 
because I expect it to be a little bit warmer than normal in the southeast thanks to a weak La Nina. So, of course, uh, many of the areas where you could expect, where you might expect snowfall in an average winter might not are more likely to not receive any snowfall at all thanks to the fact that it's going to be warmer and drier than normal for much of the southern United States. So, places like Atlanta, Myrtle Beach, Charlotte, and um, the, the Dallas area. If you're hoping for maybe receiving snowfall this winter, unfortunately, the chances are a little bit less likely. Of course, the winter is very unpredictable. We are making a long-term forecast when um, with this. So, of course, there is bound to be um, uh, um, a bunch of uncertainties regarding the exact um, possibility you receive snowfall but based on historical data based on what we see during week la ninas it's simply less likely in a lot of these cities you receive um, um snowfall um during the winter time frame so definitely watch out for that in the southeast so taking a look at the temperature anomalies for weak La Ninas, we clearly see that it's much colder than normal for the northern Midwest, where the temperature anomalies could range anywhere between 3 to 4 degrees below normal, which could make a big difference in terms of the amount of snowfall you receive. Not only that, but the possibility that you receive your first snowfall a little bit earlier thanks to those colder temperatures as we clearly see that throughout the northern midwest and this even extends into portions of the southern united states but the anomalies are a lot weaker so i wouldn't really take that into much consideration when making this forecast of when you should expect your first snowfall but um, so I'd say it'll still lean a little bit more towards average when it comes to temperature for the, even the southwestern portion of the United States. And then if we were to take a look at the southeast, we see that temperatures either hover um, near average or slightly above normal in this area. So, of course, it's less likely you're going to receive much of any snowfall this winter thanks to the warmer temperatures as well as the drier conditions you should expect in the southern United States during week La Ninas, which I'll show you guys right now. We see during week La Ninas, it's simply drier than normal right over the southeast. So, of course, there's less likely of a chance that snowfall would move a little that far um that much further southward thanks to the drier than normal conditions so unfortunately it's less likely for um, certain portions of the southeast to receive snowfall and then for the west coast we see that's also drier than normal and we do see more moist and average conditions during week la ninas but again it isn't very a uh, very strong anomaly so take it with a grain of salt but considering the fact that during la ninas in general it's simply more moist than normal and colder than normal in this area despite the drier than normal conditions we see right up along the west coast of the pacific northwest in the higher elevations as well as the areas into the northern midwest we see that precipitation falls a little bit closer to average so i don't think that this um the um, western portion of the united states being drier than normal will have much of an effect when it comes to the um when you should expect your first snowfall in the united states so i still do expect it to happen earlier than normal in these areas thanks to the fact that it's going to be colder than normal and then taking a look at the mid-atlantic what's interesting is that we do have a small anomaly where it's a little bit drier than normal this includes cities like washington dc as well as richmond virginia and southern um, new jersey but again the anomaly isn't very strong so i don't uh, so i'd expect the precipitation to be closer to average rather than having a major deficit when it comes of precipitation and like i mentioned in other videos there's a drought going on in the midsection of the country and i believe that drought will divert a lot of storm systems into the eastern half of the united states so if anything i do expect the precipitation to be a little bit more for the northeast which i think should contribute to the possibility of snowfall happening a little bit earlier and here's a snowfall pattern for week La Ninas. As we clearly see, it's uh, much snowier than you receive much more snowfall accumulation in the northern Midwest and the Pacific Northwest. And I believe that will also contribute to the, your first snowfall being a little bit earlier, thanks to the fact that the possibility of snowfall is just higher during week La Nina years. And same goes for Northeast. So definitely keep that in mind. 
But anyways, guys, that's my forecast when it comes to when you should expect your first snowfall in the United States. If you want even more in detail forecast regarding when um, the specific date or specific time frame you should receive your first snowfall in your specific location, just make sure to comment down below your city and or and or area, and I'll make sure to eventually get to your comment and give you guys a more in detail forecast regarding when you should expect your first snowfall. So make sure to comment down below if you're interested. But that's it for now, guys. And I thank you guys for watching and make sure to subscribe and like this video if you do enjoy it. And I hope you guys have a great day.